and welcome to my channel. I'm Angie. Today's video is all about my two week journey with my way to hula hoop. So about two weeks ago, I posted this TikTok video which went like semi-viral. Like it's at 2 million views right now, which is crazy. Thank you everyone. So this is the way to hula hoop I got which is from Amazon and I linked it down below in my description. I also linked a few other ones because the one I got keeps selling out. But keep in mind that they're all different weights. A lot of them are like two pounds and the one I got is 3.6 pounds. So if you want the 3.6 pounds one, maybe just wait because I do see it come back in stock some mornings and then at night it like sells out again so like keep checking if you're interested but the two pound one should be perfectly fine also. Let's get into the journey, the actual journey. So on day one, right, super simple, not hard at all because you know it's my first time doing it, nothing really right and I did it for like 10 minutes. So for the first week, I did everything for like 10 minutes and then I wanted to do it longer. So the second week, like the first like two days, I did it for like 15 minutes. And then the rest of the days, I tried to do it for like 20 to 30 minutes. So it just got longer as I went. <laughs> Day two, right, was probably one of the worst days because I was so sore. Like, it's like the type of soreness that you feel when you work out your ass, but an added component because it also feels like you've been punched in your stomach, right? Basically, that's what the way hula hoop is doing. When you're turning, it's like punching, 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 punching. I look so bad right now. Okay, excuse how I look. But anyways, today is day two of using the weighted hula hoop. And I know I didn't film day one. And that's because I did not know that I was going to make this into a whole YouTube video. And I just want to show you how it was for me today doing the weighted hula hoop, okay? Okay, this is how my waist is looking right now on day two, right? And if you see, there's a few red marks. Okay, now let me show you how it was hula hooping for the second day because it was a lot of pain, but you kind of get used to it. <laughs> Since I'm so sore from yesterday, I'm like going super wide for some reason and going down because I'm trying to avoid the pain. But it's still painful either way, right? Super sore day two through like five. And then day six is when I finally felt like, you know, I wasn't as sore anymore. And I did do updates on my TikTok, so I'll insert those clips here. So on day three, this is how my waist looked and it was still super sore. On day four, this is how my waist looked and I felt a little bloated this day. And I also noticed I got a bruise on my hip. So on day five, it finally got easier to hula hoop. And this is how my waist looked and the bruise was healing. And I did end up getting a bruise, but it wasn't as bad. Like it was literally just on my hip and it healed after like a few days and it was easy to avoid. I know that some people get bruised all around. So just a warning, you might get bruised all around if you try this. For me, I only got that one bruise. I didn't get any other bruises after that. So I got lucky, I think. Okay, so here's another update. This is day six. This is how my waist looked and this is how the bruise looked. And then on day seven, I noticed that this side that I just touched looked like it went in more, probably because I hula hoop on that side more, or it could just be in my head. So I've been doing it for about 15 to 20 minutes each day, and this is how my waist looks on day 11 and 12. So the whole second week, I didn't film too much because it was basically the same thing over and over. So I did end up losing some inches, I think, around my waist. Like, I'll show all the before and after, and you tell me if you see a difference, okay? So here's a more in-detail look of how it went. So this is day three at night. I want to show morning and night because everyone knows your stomach looks different in the morning versus at night. Now this is the morning after day three. So this is day four. And then this clip here is day four at night. And now we're jumping into day six in the morning. And then this is day seven in the morning. And I feel like day seven is when I really started to see more results. And this is day 10. I think my abs definitely got a lot stronger and I see a difference all around. This is day 13 and 14. Okay, so it's been two weeks of doing the way to hula hoop and I just wanna show you how my waist looks now. Okay, now here's a comparison from day two to day 10 to day 14 from my TikTok. And I wanted to give more variety, so here's day three versus day six versus day 14. Okay, so these are my before measurements that I filmed on my TikTok. And 
now here's a video comparison. The one on the left is from day two versus now, and sorry that the lighting is different here. Like overall, I feel like my abs got stronger, and I do feel thinner, and I do see a difference in like my shape. And I don't think this necessarily gets rid of fat per se, but I do think it kind of like punches your stomach to mold your fat in certain ways, right? So that you could get that hourglass shape. I saw some fitness trainers and people say that the weight of hula hoop is false, you know, don't trust it, you're not gonna lose weight, blah blah. But I also saw tons of people say that they used the weight of hula hoop and saw a lot of results. And they did end up getting an hourglass shape. So, I don't know. There's two sides of the spectrum. Some people believe it, some people don't. This whole purpose of the video was to see whether or not I was going to see results. And I feel like I did. I feel like it also helped with like my bloating because since it was constantly like punching me in my stomach, right? I feel like it got all like the air out or whatever. Who knows? So I got a few questions that I wrote down on my phone and these are common questions I kept getting asked. So let me pull them up. Uh, one question I got is how I get through the pain. And literally I would just keep doing it and then stopping, doing it and then stopping, keep doing it and then stopping until eventually that area just felt numb and then I was able to do it, but it still hurt a little, you know? I just had to endure the pain basically, and if you can endure the pain, you can get through it also, <laughs> but it is painful. And another question is, do you do both sides, like counterclockwise and clockwise? And yes, my recommendation is to do both sides so then it doesn't get uneven. That's what I heard anyways, and I started to see that because naturally I always go counterclockwise, I think, and I kept forgetting to go the other way, clockwise. I did half time counterclockwise, half time clockwise. Another question is, do you sweat? A little bit, but not much. The faster you go, I guess you might sweat more. You could go pretty fast with it. I usually like to start off slow and then I try to get faster. Another question I got asked is if you could use a waist trainer to like improve your results or something. And for that, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I don't know. I'm not an expert. But I'm sure maybe like if you do use it, it probably will help. And maybe it's an extra protection, you know, like when you're super sore and you need like an extra padding of the who not constantly hitting you. That might help too. The last question I got asked is if I do any other workout other than the weighted hula hoop. And the answer to that is yes. I do Lauren Geraldo's 12 do dirty workout, which a lot of people may or may not know already. And I posted a YouTube video about that a while back. And now it's gone like completely viral, but I've been doing it for like a year now. And that's like the main thing I do. I try to do that like five times a week just because I do work from home and I really don't get any other physical exercise other than that. Now let's get into how to hula hoop because I've gotten so many comments on TikTok from people saying that they don't know how to hula hoop. So I just want to show you here. I did do a short video on TikTok, but this one will be more in detail, hopefully. I don't know. So a lot of people like use their hips and they go like super wide and you know, they try to keep it up and they go fast, right? And that's not how you do it. It's more like in your feet and it's more like back and forth. That's how I do it anyways. Okay, so you want to start off with your feet apart, like shoulder width, right? And then you get your hula hoop and you start it up like on the side like this or this side, depending on whether you're going counterclockwise or clockwise. And then you swing it around, right? And it should be one motion. Once you swing it, you should start getting into the back and forth movement. See, as you can see, I like to start off slow and I go back and forth. And a lot of times when people start off, they want to go fast, but I think it's best to start off slow so you get the hang of it. And once you get the hang of it, then you can go faster. And you have to go with the rhythm of the hula hoop, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm not like moving my hips like crazy. It's literally just me moving my body back and forth. I hope that made sense. I explained it the best I could, and I hope that helped. Overall, I do recommend using the whale hula hoop as a different form of exercise. I mean, it is fun to do. I wanted to switch up my workouts and do something different, and it makes me feel like a child again doing a hula hoop. Okay, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you had a weighted hula hoop or if you ever tried one or if you're going to try one, and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.